Hello people! It's been a while since I've done one of these videos, but since my last set of tutorial videos is still pretty successful, I thought I could redo some of them and put in some new tips and tricks and all the knowledge I gained over the years. In this episode we will take another look at the built-in Tron computer from FL Studio, the FPC, and see how we can get some good sounding drums out of it. As you can see, I'm still using FL Studio 10 with my old computer, so not much has changed over the years. If you are not using FL Studio, you can still take a listen. Some of the tips and tricks may apply to other DAWs and drum computers as well. Okay, first step, we have to find and open the FPC of course. We choose the plugin picker and a lot of plugins to choose from appear. Uh, all the drum computers are sorted around here and the one we are looking for is the FPC and we have to load it into our step sequencer. Alright, if you have done that, you can already choose from the built-in samples and stuff. But as you can hear, they don't sound very well. So we have to put some work into it and use our own samples. And before that, we have to clear the, all the pads and make them empty. And you can choose the preset empty here and as you can hear, you cannot hear nothing. All the pads are empty now and we can load in our own samples. Alright, I will show it for one of the pads and after that you can do it for the other ones as well. For the example, I will try to build up a good sounding snare. Alright, what you have to do, you have to get your samples ready. For that, I will use my old sample pack I used in the other videos as well. It's called the Aircons Organized Samples. And have to find them real quick. Okay, here they are. Can open them up. Of course, you can use every other sample pack you have. And what's really important is that you have different velocities of your snare, for example. I will choose the unbelievable snare here. And as you can see, you have different velocities to choose from. It's going from ultra soft to soft and to hard, pretty much. So what you wa want to do is you want to load in as many samples as possible. And we will start with the one of the ultra soft ones, put them in here. So we have them here and what you can do now is you can change the volume of the pad, you can change the panning and all other stuff. So what you have to do next, you have to load in more samples. You can choose a soft one now or you can add more ultra soft hits so it gets more gets a more feel of a real drummer of course if you load in more samples it will get closer to the real thing of course it's more work to do but if you have time you can do it okay of course we can add as many samples as we want and 
pen them if needed but what is more important is to get the velocities linked up to your FPC velocity. What it means is that if you put it on a lower velocity band here, you can see that if I hit a low velocity, uh, let's see if we can get it better here. Also the low velocity will play. So if you want to have them spread even, you can click the spread even button and the velocities are attached evenly over the board here. Okay, if you've done that, I will show you how it could sound in the end. Therefore, I'll load in the preset I have created for my snares and it sounds something like that. And of course you can see here the velocities are spread evenly with different hard hitting hits. So here are the ultra soft ones, medium ones and hard ones. To thicken the sound up a bit I've also added some other samples that spread over a broader band of velocities. But that's not something you have to do. Okay, what you now want to do of course is you want to process your sound even more and therefore you could also of course use the effects that are built in your FPC here for example you have a compressor built in that can control your attack and your sustain but for me it works better to send in send your samples to the mixer and do your processing there and therefore you can easily select your output here and if you put it to two exa for example it will get sent to your second mixer track and we can show it real quick as you can see if i play it now it will appear in the mixer on insert two and yeah if you do the processing for all of your drum parts, you can get something that sounds like that. Bass drum, snare, toms, and all the cymbals. And as you can see, they're all sent in to the mixer to different spots, so they can, process, can be processed later on. But that we will do in a, one of the next episodes. For ending it up, I will talk about a few other details here. For example, you can set your pad volumes on this corner here. Here you can set your pad volume. Okay, you will do it for the snare here. It's on full volume and here you can see it gets quieter or you can pan it. And yeah, what you know also want to do is you want to send your sample to the piano roll so you can later on add in beats and program your beats and therefore you have to select the MIDI note. Here I have selected the acoustic snare but you can also select other MIDI notes that appear in the piano roll. I will show it real quick. Here in the piano roll you can see the snare is attached here. It's still quiet but you can hear it. And for example if you set it to a different note 
for example, hand clap here goes up one position and so you can align your samples how you think it's best. And you can do it for all the other parts of your drum kit as well. And yeah, that should be it for the first part of the drum session. I hope some of the tricks helped you out and you can tell me what you want to see next in one of the tutorials and of course subscribe, Facebook, everything. But for now that should be it. See you next time.